How strange is it to be back, or is it not strange at all? It, no, it's kind of, it, it's both. Okay. It's strange, it's, uh, you know, it, it's static, it's bittersweet, it's like, I think a mix of emotion, you know, when I first did it, it was like, it was weird, it's like, but it, but it felt natural. After like one or two days, oh, okay, this is what it was. And then most of the time, you know, most of my character gets to work with some new folks, but a lot of old folks, you know, all of the original series, so... It just felt, and then we had a director, Alan Arkush, direct, who directed the original series as well. So everything was, well, this was just like five years ago. So it's kind of cool. So how's, how has the world changed since we last saw him, and where is Hero at this point? Well, five years have passed. So a Hero has matured in some senses. You know, we're not going to see him as future Hero, because uh, he's not going to be as hard in as future Hero. But he is going to be uh, more mature. He's, he's a mix of between the original innocent Hero and the future hero so because that that future hero was you know was in an alternate universe and he also had a goatee so we don't have that anymore. are we going to learn whatever happened to Ando? you know what I don't know that that is a sad thing uh, maybe maybe in the script I haven't read but uh, I don't yeah I haven't done anything with Ando so I hope it's not bad news right. Yes. I don't know what I can say legally, uh, but off the record with all the things. Yeah. No, no, no. I mean, to be honest with you, I think initially when the when we saw the teaser at the Winter Olympics, all the castmates, like original castmates, like Texas teaser, whoa. Did you know about this? No, 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 no. I was like, and nobody knew about it. I was surprised. And then ten minutes later, you know, Tim kind of emailed me, say, "Hey, you got time to talk? I think you just saw something." It's like, "Oh yeah, yeah." So it actually started way back when, and you know, the original concept of you know, Tim wanted certain characters back in the real series and wanted to kind of base it off of that. And then you know, due to contractual limitations, I found out that I could not do it uh, full time. So it was kind of a uh, you know, it was kind of a bummer for a while, but then it was interesting, you know, we were talking to a bunch of people, you know, even some of the Japanese government got involved, you know, at the, at the end of the day, you know, thanks to the generosity of CBS and NBC, you know, they worked something out, I was able to do three episodes, and uh, literally, we just shot those three episodes, and uh, now I'm flying back to the island tomorrow, so... How adept is Hero at his, power, at his powers now? How are we going to see them manifest in the show? Uh, I think, you know, it's, I mean, the problem is, like, Hero's powers is so powerful and it really screws everything up because you could always just, oh, he's going to stop time and done that, you know, go, just blah, 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 you know, it's like there's always going to be a solution. So if Hero was, like, super, super smart, like, we wouldn't have a show. <laughs> so you have to nerf him either, like, you know, you know, metaphysically or, you know, mentally or, you know, like, physically, whatever it is. There has to be some sort of, uh, but I think, you know, he has, definitely has control over it, but you'll see him nerfed again. It's just, it's just the way it is, right? It's kind of like, you know, Nathan will always be killed every, every season. You know, Hero's power will be nerfed somehow. <laughs> has he changed much? He has no changed. Choice. I would say, I think five years have passed. So, yeah. I wouldn't say too much, but as I said, you know, he's going to be a hybrid of, what we remember him as future hero, who was, you know, five years in the future of an alternate universe that we thwarted, and then, you know, an, an innocent hero, you know, he's, he's run a company for five years, and the whole apocalypse happened, and the evil stuff happened, so, uh, you know, it definitely has affected him. Uh, it definitely changes his course a little bit, you know, he's, uh, you know, he's, he's always been about the moral code and the hero code you know so knowing what's happening with the evos and stuff uh, you know it's uh he has a different mentality towards that and what it means to be and use the powers in terms of there's definitely more responsibility i think that he feels but we'll see that manifest a little bit more in what happens in terms of uh that faithful day Yama Hinder, who was in the clip have you gotten to work with any other actors from the original series yes <laughs> <laughs> but Look, I, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty confident to say, I would say, I've, been, I've worked with not everybody, but I've worked with more than 50%. How about the new characters? What, you said you had a connection to 
uh, yes. new character. Can you tell us which one it is? Or I can't tell you which one it is. <laughs> I can't tell you which one it is, but uh, I mean, can I, can I give spoilers? I don't know. Can you tease? Yeah, go ahead. I, why, I can't tell you who it is. I, well, I can't tell you why they have a connection, but I can tell you that Hero. It's hard not to spoil this like heavily, so. But I can say there's a deep relationship between Hero and one of the characters. One of the series regulars. And it's not the obvious one. <laughs>